Hello everyone, I'm Ryan near Faye, Belgium, and today we're going to be doing some geocaching. But not only that, I'm also going to show you a few beautiful sights around these parts. I'm about four and a half miles from home. I'll be showing to you the beautiful places on the way back, but first we're going to be doing geocaching. There are cows here. So there I am. I'm on top of the ruins of Faye Castle. Uh, this is an old medieval castle, stronghold, nothing much is known about it. But that's not the interesting thing. The interesting thing is first, the view. That is amazing. That down there is the Ucht River. That is the village of Sharks. But there is also the Cache which should be around here somewhere. Through these bushes. Under here, under this wall. And, yes, yes, found it, yes, that is good. Right, so that's the geocaching done and over with. Yes, I am indeed riding a bike. Now it's time to go home, but I'm gonna take advantage of the trip home to show you some beautiful places on the way. Starting with here. That is the valley of the Ort River, which I showed you earlier where the cache was. A bit further down there should be Comble au Pont. Uh, yeah. This is the countryside around here. It's primo. The thing is though, I'm still nearly five miles away from home and I have to climb all the way there. My back hurts, my legs hurt, and I'm sweating in places I didn't even think I could sweat from. But I'm still gonna have to do it. Stop number two, the actual village of Fai. Still four and a half miles away from home. Uh, I'm actually on the main road here. Uh, the actual village is right behind me in there. So I'm actually on the old road to Esne. Going to be taking the road that way, which as you can see leads to Ménage, Lassé and Sprimont, all of which I will be visiting actually. Spot number three, I've now left the village of Faye and I'm now in the small hamlet of Ménage, halfway between Faye and Lassé, about four miles from home now. And right behind me is the first road that I'm going to have to climb, and it is a seriously steep one. It's the one on the left, not on the right. I mean, the left one is much more impressive. Spell number four. Nothing to say here, really, just amazing point of view. Got the village of Fai over there. And there she is, hidden under that hill. So yeah, we've passed the hamlet of Ménage now, which isn't really that difficult considering it's only got five houses and a farm. And I'm now halfway to Lassé. Spot number five, I'm now in the small village of Lassé, which I want to show you first of all because it is a very pretty village. You can see the pretty little houses. It's actually smaller than it looks. It looks like it continues for much longer than it actually does. It actually does continue for quite a bit that way, but not so much that way, interestingly. But what I actually want to show you is this, the memorial to the victims of the German army during the First World War, where 35 people living in La Cé and Fay were killed, youngest of which was only nine. Spot number six, which looks an awful lot like spot number four, only from here you can actually see Sprimont, which is way down there. You can actually see the church steeple. Through there, we have the Ort River Valley over there, once again. But mostly Sprimont there. Also, if I sound incoherent during this video, there is a perfectly good reason I'm in physical pain, in dire need of water, and completely out of breath. 
Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. Spot number seven. I've crossed the main road between Ay and Liège, and I'm about to enter Sodrogne village. I am now under the bridge of the E25 motorway. Now, since this place is a small village, everywhere looks a lot the same, but this place is considered the ghetto of the village. This is, of course, solely because it's the only place in the village which features graffiti. And finally, spot number eight. I'm about half a mile away from home, and I'm in the center of Sodrogne village, so-called because it's the only place that has a bench, a trash can, a roof on its bus stop, and a basketball hoop. This makes the place to be when the village has its annual fiesta, which sounds dirty, but it only means party in Moloon. It also contains a geocache hidden inside this road sign. So that was a short tour of the places I live near. As you can see, it's a pretty rural place, but despite that, agriculture is slowly on its way out. Uh, there are still farms around here, but they're slowly disappearing. In 1951, there were 30 farms in the village of Sodrogne alone. Now, there are only two. So that's the end of today's trip. I showed you two geocaches and a wide variety of places while going from one to the other. But that's by no means all that Primont has to offer. It's a very big commune. Very big. And I hope I can show you more of it in the coming weeks. In the meantime, you can watch my other videos, like them, comment on them. You can even subscribe to this channel and my main one. You can also follow me on Twitter, which I have just got. The links to those will be either on my face or in the description. Probably both. Definitely both. I'll see you later.